Cayman Islands Treasure Island Resort. It's Nashville now. Our guests tonight are country music superstars Loretta Lynn and Tom Wade Woody. From Minnesota, Shotgun Red. And now, from the Cayman Islands Treasure Island Resort, welcome the host of Nashville now, Ralph Emery. Thank you very much. Good evening, my friends, and welcome to Nashville Now, coming to you from the crown jewel of the Caribbean, Grand Cayman Island. Yeah! And what a sensational week we're having here on the beach of the Treasure Island Resort. I want to tell you... Arr, arr. Arr. Arr, I say, Mickey, give me your flippin' bloody doubloons before I swab the deck with your flippin' country music mustache, arg. Hand me your pieces of eight limey lips before I hoist the main brace with your Nashville network face, arg, arg, double arg, arg. <laughs> Red, uh, have you been sipping some of the uh, tropical grog here on the beach? Don't grog me, you, you, you tortugas. I'll have your shell before morning, me bucko. <laughs> Red, as usual, your, your compass is a few degrees off. Pirates Week us, is not until October. This is only April. The last thing I need is bloody limey logic. Hand me your gold. <laughs> Hand me your silver. Hey, hand me that good-looking girl in the front row, Ralph. Wow, oh, she's great. Red, now oh, wait a minute. Red, red. No, no. What is it, Ralph? Where did you get that ugly thing? This is not an ugly thing, Ralph. This is a birdie, be very beautiful bird. I was talking to the bird. <laughs> All right, Ralph. Now you're in big trouble. I got this bird actually from Percy Worm. He's a good friend of mine. And the bird's name is Pieces. Pieces? Yeah, like pieces of eight, you know? Yeah, that's a beautiful bird. Ain't, ain't she pretty? Yeah, and she's withstood about a 35-mile-an-hour wind there on top of your head, too. It's yeah. really blowing off the ocean tonight. Lots of danger with her up on my head there, Obviously Ralph. very gentle. Yeah, she's beautiful. You uh, feel all right? I'm in a good piratey mood tonight, Are Ralph. you really? It's fabulous here. It doesn't here feel warm on top of your head yet, does it? No, not yet. Okay. You look... A little behind the left ear, Ralph, but not bad. <laughs> you look great. Thanks, you look Ralph. great. You know, red one of the... Conway 20. Let's hear it for Conway. Good to see you again. Conway, this will be the second interview we have done here at the Grand Cayman Treasure Island Resort. We did one last year down we here. Sure did. It gets better all the time, we don't it, Ralph? We sat in the lobby, yeah. as I recall. Let me, let me depart from this for a moment. The last I heard, are the Nashville Sounds, of which you were one of the owners, were unbeaten. What, what, what's the latest? Uh, you know more about it. I've been down here for two weeks, Ralph. Well, they had, a, uh, they had a, at the last time I heard, they had a 4-0 start. They oh, won that's their, great. They, they won their first that. four ball games. That's super duper. I'm glad to hear you that. talked to Larry Schmetto, obviously. <laughs> no. No, I've been down in the Caymans for two weeks. You, okay. What, uh, I, uh, we might review what some of the things we said last year. Why did you come, I know you are an entrepreneur, you get involved in a lot of businesses. What brought you down to Treasure Island Resort? Well, like you, Ralph, I've, I've been all over the world, been around the world a few times, and I, but I've always looked for a, a spot that, that, that I'd want to come back to and come back to and come back to and come back to. And uh, when I first came to the Cayman Islands, I knew I'd found that spot right here. This is it. Super nice people in the Caymans. The weather's great. I think. The hottest it ever gets is, is like 90 degrees, and the coldest it ever gets is like 75. The weather's perfect. Uh, there's no crime on these islands. Uh, nice people on these islands. Uh, great food on these islands. And a great hotel on these islands. And I understand there's no unemployment down here. That's, That's right. That the per capita income here is high. There's no, there's no poverty here. It's just a super-duper place. Is it true that you own most of the banks on this island? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot of banks on this island. Conway, the uh, Treasure Island Resort, of course, uh, has a, a lot of country music stars involved. Were you the first? I was the first one, yeah. Randy uh, Davidson 
uh, had spent quite a few years down here in the Caymans, and, and he was, of course, aware not only of all the things that we talked about before, plus the, the great fishing here and, and the, the great, as far I think, according to the National Geographic, this is the third best scuba diving uh, place in the world right here. And Randy's a big scuba diver. What, do, you have a, you, do you have something you want to say? Yeah, I sure do. I got, a, I got a young friend here who, who plays for us here at the hotel out in the lobby, and I know you've heard him. He sits there and plays the piano and has his own little, little band that comes out of that machine there. And, uh, and his name is Henry Leslie, and he plays for us. And his mother's sick over in, uh, in Houston, and he's going to go see her tomorrow. Nice young man, and I just want him to... to uh, he loves Nashville now, and, and he wanted to get his mug on there one time, so he did. So he's, yeah. saying, he's saying hi to his mother tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right, Henry, I hope your mama gets the feeling much better. On tonight's show, in addition to Conway, Miss Loretta Lynn is here. Ronnie McDowell is here. I assume I, I assume you and Ronnie are going to sing tonight together. That's right. It's only make believe. We've got a hit together. I know you do. <laughs> Finus Henderson is here. He's wonderful. Shotgun Red is here. And I guess the bird is still here. And we'll all be back in a moment. Tonight here at the Treasure Island Resort, it gives me great pleasure to present most, one of the most famous women in the world, the coal miner's daughter, Miss Loretta Lynn. <laughs> Hello, Loretta. How are you, darling? That's your microphone, but you don't need it just yet. Conway, I want, you, I want all you people to stand up, if you will, please. <laughs> now, I realize we're airing this 24 hours in advance, but when this goes on the air nationwide, 24 hours from now, it will be Miss Loretta Lynn's birthday. We, we uh, got you a cake, Loretta. Uh, it's, got a, it's, got a, it's got a sparkler on. I don't want you to get out. We got a lot of wind out here. I think it's. I don't think. No, that's your cake. Now, I'd like for Conway, if you'll lead this, I'd like for everybody here to sing happy birthday to right. Miss Loretta. Ready? Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Loretta. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yeah. Ralph, uh, a friend of ours named Richard Burrell, who, uh, who is the creator of this black coral here, gave that to Loretta, that piece to Loretta for her birthday. She and her... He and, and, and his lovely wife, Raffi. Richard has been on this program yes, he prior to this this week. He's a big country music and, fan. Uh, he, he made a very nice piece for me, and that's beautiful. And Mooney gave her that for her birthday. And this, that piece. Now, what, that, what did Mooney give you? This, the bracelet, the bracelet? And, the, and the little turtle. And the turtle. The turtle is the island. Uh, Sir Turtle, isn't it? Yeah, you bet. And, the, uh, the and, and my clothes, my clothes Conway and Dee got for me. Oh, yeah, the outfit, that's right. <laughs> We got, we got up and went shopping and got, got that for her. Well, what? what? Why don't we sit down? <laughs> okay. Uh, now, Loretta, how, what else do you want for your birthday? Oh, May Axton got me some perfume. Did she really? Yeah. Uh, what else do I want for my birthday? Yes. Just not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She wants to stay in the Cayman Islands for another week. Yeah, Ralph. for another year or something like that. Is this your first trip down? This is my first trip here. Have you tried the diving yet, Loretta? Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't even mud crawl yet. Conway, <laughs> I believe, let's do this right now. I believe you and Loretta are, are going to be down here in these waters on a cruise ship in, That's Dece right. in December. That's right. The USS Carib. And it's called Cruising with Conway and Loretta. And uh, I don't see the dates. I think it's December there, there, the... There's the date now. Do you see it? Yes, oh. I do. Yeah, December the 3rd through the 10th. And, and we, go, we go to uh, St. Thomas. We got that up there. Uh, we don't have that down anywhere. St. Thomas, and we go to 
Por, por, uh, plata. Por Did I get plata. that right? Por plata. Did I get it right? I got it right. And uh, oh, four or five islands down through there. And, you and go, the, to, you and go to Miami. You go to Miami. To, I'm going to help you. All right. You go to Miami to St. Thomas to St. John's to San Juan to Puerto Plata to Miami. All right. Thank if you, you want, If you would like to go cruising with Conway and Loretta, you can call 1-800-251-2141. And they do it December 3rd through the 10th. Yeah. That's I right. I think they had the number on the screen there a while ago. They did. Have, they did indeed. Okay. Thank you, Ralph. I assume you, the two of you, will be performing on the... We sure will. ...on this ship. And this is becoming a yearly... Th next year... The, this year, this coming December is when we do this tour. The following year, we're coming to the Cayman Islands with, the, with our ship. Coming here. And this will be the, the Carib. That's right? right, right. Now, the tour we're talking about is 1987. One, yeah, one, one thing at just, a time. That's right, All one right. thing at a time. The same reliable brand that's been relieving the pain and discomfort of headaches, arthritis, muscular aches, and colds for more than 50 years. Goodies for fast pain relief. What we're going to do here, we're going to have Conway and Loretta sing together. And while we're at it, Conway, I'll mention that the song you're going to sing, Making Believe, is an old country song, which is, uh, has been newly recorded by you and Loretta and placed in this album. That's right. And you were just saying to me when we came back from the break, this, this, this album is done by a company called Heartland Productions, and he informed us the other day, the fellow from Heartland, that this is the most successful television album that the Nashville Network has ever done. And we're certainly very proud of that because the Nashville Network is plenty strong, plenty strong. Such as uh, Loretta, I believe there are six songs that are new that uh, you recorded for this album. Five new ones. Five new ones? Uh -huh. oh, please help me, I'm falling half as much. Making believe. Uh, <laughs> deep. Faded love. I can't help it if I'm still in love well, with I you. Well, I got three out of five. That's five. not bad. What would we do without you, D? <laughs> huh? I don't want we do without D. Uh, yeah, D was prompting. Uh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. <laughs> Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn, the diamond duet here on Nashville now. Hey, Red. You all right back there? Hired me, Buckle. How you doing, Ralph? I'm just having a great time. Hey, Conway, have you and Loretta seen uh, Red in his pirate's outfit? Oh, yeah, we saw Red. I saw him out around the pool today. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know something, Ralph? I was just going to say, yeah, you know, with Conway around here all the time and stuff, you get great hospitality, a lot of super music he looks after things, but there are some downfalls to that, Ralph. Oh, you mean you have a complaint? Well, yeah, when you're laying around the pool, I was laying out there getting a suntan. Can you tell I got a pretty good tan, Yeah, Ralph? Red, I sure can. <laughs> anyway, every time you lay out there and I get two or three girls sitting around there in bikinis talking to me, Right. Conway walks by, <whistles> there they all go, Ralph, right after <laughs> <laughs> Well, Red, I guess you just need more sex appeal. I got lots. Can I say thanks to one person, Ralph? Sure. Lillian, you know, the little gal that works in, the, in all the wardrobe and everything? Right. She sat up last night till about midnight working on my little pirate outfit so I could be a pirate on today's well, show. Miss Lillian is a genius. Ain't she great? She did a good job for you. Miss Loretta just handed me this. Tell me what this is, Loretta. This is uh, my new album cover, and they just finished it. And the album will be put in it probably in about three weeks, two to three weeks. <laughs> oh, I see. But I wanted everyone to see that this is the finished product. This is what product. she's talking about. There's nothing inside. But this <laughs> is, yeah. That's a beautiful picture of you Thank on the you. cover. Uh, now, this is strictly you, a solo album, right? Yeah. And you, I see you also wrote the liner notes for this. And sure uh, finished it with love, your friend Loretta Lynn. You know, you've written to me from all over the world. I've, I say, I've saved postcards from Hawaii and from Europe 
Right. And I, I really treasure them. Thank you. You are you you're a world traveler. What is, is there going to be a single from this album? Uh, who was a stranger is the that's, first single. That's the single. Uh -huh. well, and it's out right now. It just, I, just come out and hits uh, hits in the charts. Oh, well, I wish you well with the album. I like your flowers too. Thank you. Gro growing right out of your head. All See right, Red. See the guy out there. Red, that'll be enough of that. He ran over uh, in town. I said I got to have something to match yellow. And he that there he is. The fellow right out yeah, there on the second down. row. Yeah. Well, he, he matched you very he, well. He matched you. You look, you look beautiful. Hair I, looks a little out of place, but nevertheless, <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> well, you know, we pinned it down. We've done everything. I needed a cap, didn't I? Well, I no, need, you look fine. I needed you a Conway Cody hat or a, a coal miner's hat one. All right, we're going to go back to music. <laughs> All right, Conway, thank you very much. And you will come over here and join us. We will. We will mention where the Conway Twitty Loretta Lynn show is going to be appearing. I assume that you are going to be touring with Loretta throughout this year. Yeah, Loretta now, especially the next two months, well, April and May, all of April and May, and then she's going to, I think, going to Alaska in June. Uh, in June. Men who are going to Alaska. Are you going on vacation to Alaska? The month of June. We're uh, going up through Canada and Alaska. Then we're working we're, in we're Alaska. Gonna, we're going to join them up there. Yeah, we're uh, working They're going to drive up there, Mooney and Loretta, and, and see all the sights. And we're going to fly up there and meet them and do a couple of concerts. All right, let's put the dates back up on the screen. And Conway, I'll have you read them, if you will, please. Could we do that? There we are. Hmm. April the 15th, we're going to be in Salem, Virginia. April the 16th, Charlotte, North Carolina. April the 18th. Charleston, South Carolina, April 22nd, Hampton, Virginia, and April 23rd, Fayetteville, North Carolina. I bet you're working at Coliseum there at Hampton, right, yeah, the, right, right by the Navy base. That's right. Been there a lot of time. Fine. Loretta, is it true you're going to do some parasailing here tomorrow up in the air? <laughs> I haven't heard anything about it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Not me. You want to no. go snorkeling and go and see some of those nice fish that, that look well, so pretty? Now, you know I can't swim. I didn't know that. And I can't fly. Well, then well, we've got... The can you float? The best thing I do is stay right here. <laughs> we, we've can got you some. float? Can't even float. That's all you got to... Oh, you can't even float. Come here, Loretta. The snorkeling's out. Come here, Loretta. <laughs> Remember last summer in Alabama? Let's try a little bit. You are my sunshine. You, you are, are my sunshine. sunshine my, my only sunshine. sunshine. You, you make me happy when, when skies are gray. gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> the new sensation. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've Watch got, it, Ralph. You're, you're singing with Ronnie McDowell. I'll, uh, I'll take up with this lady. <laughs> Last summer, we were in Alabama together, and look, I was just hanging around the edge of the stage. I was emceeing, but Loretta said, right in the middle of her show, she said, come out here and sing with me. I said, I don't know. Do we know any of the same songs? <laughs> Tomorrow night, we will be back here on the beach with Hoyt Axton. Mel, I want to see Mel Tillis talking this wind. Helen Cornelius, Corey Wells, and Shotgun Red. Tonight, we would like to call the roll and thank Ronnie McDowell. Conway Twitty. And happy birthday again to Miss Loretta Lynn. Finus Henderson. Shotgun Red and his bird right here. I'd like to thank this young man right here well, from the, the island. Now staff Spain. were provided by Hospitality World.
transportation from Miami to Grand Cayman Island provided by Cayman Airways. much and good evening my friends and welcome to our show boy after last night's show uh kind of hard to top all that great entertainment but i think we've got just the ticket for you tonight but and uh before we get into all that i think i will bring back one act from last night's show shotgun red come on up red <laughs> I'm doing great, Ralph. You look you look more casual in that suit. Yeah, that I feel better than I did all gussied up in that tux. Gussied up? I noticed that you had your tux on last night, too. Yeah, yeah I borrowed it from little Jimmy Dickens. Oh, know? did you? Well, how's the weather up in Minnesota? The weather, Ralph? Yeah. The weather is fantastic. In fact, everything's starting to melt. You know that. The water's starting to melt around the edge of the lakes. In fact, I've seen a duck come gliding in. <laughs> Slid in on the water. And he was sitting there, and a little turtle walked up. He said, you look terrible. He said, I feel terrible. I got a headache. He said, why don't you take some of them goodies headache powders? He said, I don't got none on me. He said, turtle said, I got some. I'll go get them. He said, wait a minute. I don't trust you, turtle, because you're slower than a herd of turtles and a pile of peanut butter. You know, Ralph? <laughs> the turtle said, I'll go get you the goodies headache powders if you'll just behave yourself. He said, all right, my headache's killing me. Go ahead. So the turtle left. A week later, he's still sitting there, Ralph. In comes another duck. Glides on the water, walks up and says, you look terrible. He said, I know, I feel terrible. I got a headache. I sent a turtle out to get some goodies, headaches, powder. He's been gone for a week. That big dummy, and about that time, about 10 feet away, the turtle popped his head up and said, well, if you're going to mouth off, I'm not even going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Lots of exciting things happening on the road and stuff now. You ready for a show? I was born ready. Right? All right. You know this fella right over here with the guitar? I think you've seen him once or twice. He's that one that growls, Ralph. Huh? Yeah. He's the one that goes, uh, and all the girls go, uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Conway Twitty. I want to welcome back to our show. Yeah, nice you. to see you. How's everything at Twitty City? <laughs> everything is great at Twitty City, Ralph. Twitty Bird all right? Twitty Bird doing fine. In fact, the last time I was at Twitty City was uh, to start the Christmas season. That's right. Did I do well this year? Just like you this, are every year. This past year? year? You did wonderful. You did wonderful. Now, I mean, was the turnout good this year? Oh, the turnout was super. Yes, sir. To really good. Tonight, we are really going to celebrate the Diamond Duet. When did the Diamond Duet start? Started, we recorded in 1969 when we did our first album together. It was released in 1970. Uh, the first single from that album was a song called After the Fire Is Gone, written by L.E. White. You remember L.E.? Yes, I do. And uh, we'd had that song for quite a while. He wrote it, and we held it for our first duet together, and it was a really big record for us. And. Uh, and we had decided to release one single and one album a year as a duet. 
after after talking it over with Owen Bradley and a few friends of ours in the business, and uh, he was concerned that it might hurt us individually, and uh, and two, he was well aware from dealing with duets down through the years that uh, sometimes uh, egos get in the way and and. Uh, People get a little mad at each, each other, and friendships are destroyed. And we certainly considered all that, and we decided that uh, that we could weather any storm like that as a duet, and we decided to do it anyway. Did you and, know Did you know Loretta well before you started recording with her? Well, I'm not going to say I hadn't known her for long, but I knew her well. And and when you know Loretta's like an open book, and and I mean that as a is a tremendous compliment. She's, there's nothing phony about her. Uh, she was a superstar in country music when I was recording, when I started recording with her. So actually, actually, uh, recording with Loretta was a shot in the arm for your career then, wasn't it? I think it was. Uh, I was, uh, I was determined to make it in country music. It took me 10 years to work my way up and out of rock and roll music. Uh, up to country music, and once I got my feet on the ground, and you know this from dealing with me down through the years, that I was determined to make it in country music. But certainly, a chance to do duets with Loretta Lynn didn't hurt my career any at all. Uh, and she, she uh, well, I was going to ask you, what was your single hit about the time you recorded with her? Hello, Darling. You, you, had, you had hit Hello, Darling. Same year. Same year? Yeah. Now, I might add here, at Twitty City, in the, I've forgotten what you call that big room, but you, you have a display called the Diamond Duet Room. That's right. That's and right. It, That's it, in what we call the showcase, Conway's showcase. Okay. And it says, as you go through this thing, it, it tells you a lot about Conway Twitty. It entertains you and informs you as you go through it. And you come to this one part that deals with uh, certainly, you know, if, if I did my life story somewhere, it would never, it wouldn't be complete without Loretta Lynn being a part of it. So, so in our showcase, we do have a section that deals with the Diamond Duet. And uh, how many hits? With for Loretta and I. Yes. Well, I started to tell you a few minutes ago. We uh, we released one single and one album a year, uh, as opposed to two or three singles that most people release a year. And so we had one big hit single every year, right on up through. I think 1980 was the final year we recorded together. And uh, for a period of about seven years, we've made no records. But we've just, just started back. We have a brand new television album that I'm sure everybody's familiar with. We, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's one of the hottest albums on television. And I understand, and that's the only way you can buy it, is, is off television. And I understand it's the biggest, biggest mail order album that the Nashville Network has ever had, and we're proud of that. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, is this what we're talking about? This is it. Yeah. This is it. This, uh, you reissued a lot of your old hits. What, 19? 19 of the songs came from our old catalog and down then, through the and, years. And then you had, so you filled, fleshed out the album by recording, what, six new songs? Five new songs. Five new songs. Five, well, five, say five new songs. Five great old standards. But that you had that, never that, recorded before. That, that we had never recorded before, right. And they are included on this album. In fact, we're going to do three of them here tonight. Okay, I know. <laughs> but uh, I want to tell you, a young man, a young man with Heartland Productions, a, a fellow named Ira Pittleman, came to my office in, in, uh, out, at, out at Toy City and approached me about doing this duet thing and, and said, I think it'd be great for you, Conway. And I said, I think you're absolutely right. Jimmy Bowen and I and Loretta had discussed it a lot of times. And so Heartland is the company that produced it and uh, they did a super duper job. And you can, you can only buy it through television. That's right. In fact, I think they buy a spot on your show every night. I think I have seen it. Yes. <laughs> we, by the way, we appreciate the visit. Yeah, all right. On tonight's show, Conway, Loretta, and Shotgun. That's the show. We'll be right back. Did I get a kiss? 
How you doing? All right, darling. It's good you to look see good. you. Thank you. So do you. Good to you see you, Ralph. Good to see everybody here tonight. You look... What was it Archie Campbell used to say? You'd look good in hip boots and a hairnet. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta, I want to... I want to talk about Owen Bradley. I know he means a lot to you. And he, uh, he used to be the producer of the Diamond Duets. Yes, he produced uh, all of them, didn't he? Just about all of them. Oh, that's right, except the last one. Last two. couple albums. Uh-huh, that's right. Did, uh, was it his idea to put the two of you together? No, it was our idea. Your idea. I, th yeah. I think we got together in England and just sung and started right. singing and didn't stop. I'm still singing. <laughs> now, uh, thank you. Now, Owen Bradley also did all the music for Coal Miner's Daughter, didn't he? Yes, he did all that. And uh, me and Sissy would uh, go out and to the studio. Was born, you know, they called it Owen's Born, and um, he would take my voice off of the tracks that she would sing on, and she would sing on my tracks. And then he would put a live band with her, and then she'd sing. This went on for almost a year before she, we ever did the movie, you know. Did you teach her to sing like you? Well, I, I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to. Because I remember one night you and Sissy went to the Grand Ole Opry and sang together. And I, I didn't see you, but I heard the tape. Uh -huh. and it was hard to tell the difference uh, who was Sissy and who was Loretta. She, she really got close. Yes, uh, she really did. We, um, and when it come time for her to do the Grand Ole Opry, it was almost like the first time I did it, you know. Dude just about had to push her out on the stage. And <laughs> she got out there and, and you know, she, of course she was a nervous wreck. And uh, I think we hit the opera about two or three times before the movie started. And then we felt she was ready to, to go into the movie. Because I wanted the movie to be as real as it could be, you know. Did you like the way that she portrayed I, you? She was the only one I picked. You know, I, I picked Sissy Spacek and I never heard of her, seen her. I didn't know she did movies. <laughs> I just thought she ought to do that. How did you happen to pick her? Where did you... Where did you uh, they come to me with a, a stack of MCA. Pictures. Uh, right. Universal. Yeah, uh -huh. come to me with about a foot of pictures uh, of all of the glamour stars of Hollywood. And I knew mo most, a lot of them. Some of them were, at the time, famous. And probably maybe looked more like me. But about halfway down the, this list of pictures, here was this little girl with freckle face and long blonde reddish hair. And I just looked at her and kind of throwed it out to the side and said, this is a coal miner's daughter. And they, um, she didn't know it. She didn't know that she was going to do the movie. So I was on the Tonight Show that night and I said, Sissy Spacek's going to do the movie. <laughs> I could screw up a two-car funeral. <laughs> She said, she uh, about died when she heard this. She said, Lord have mercy, what am I gonna do? She went to her manager and her manager said, you're not gonna do the movie because doing a country artist would make you look bad. Well, she said, she prayed and prayed about it and said, um, uh, I'd mentioned it again on another show she'd seen and said that. Uh, <laughs> she said, oh Lord, tomorrow I'm gonna go get her tapes. No, I'm just telling you her prayer. And she says, uh, please give me a sign. If I'm supposed to do this movie, please give me a sign. And she said, I've never had my car, the radio, set on anything but rock and roll. And she said, she got in the car, turned on the keys, and coal miner's daughter was singing. She says, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what she done? What's that? She just called her manager up and told her he's barred. And, and he had been with her for 12 years. She parted him. <laughs> Just so she could do your picture? She was going to do my picture. She did. All right. I want to tell our crew something. I'm not going to do this right now. It will become apparent why. Okay? I want to save that for a few minutes. I was going to ask you one more question, then we'll go to the break. Half as, what are the other songs that are new uh, besides half as much that you had never recorded before that are in this album. I know one is Please Help Me, I'm Falling. Please Help Me, I'm Falling. I Can't Help It If I'm Still in Love With You, Making Believe, and Faded Love. Okay. Oh, I okay. got them. I don't believe it. I can't. 
<laughs> Don't worry, you win the cigar. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Fred, I need your help. Conway needs your help. Anything uh, what we're going to do, we're going to show the trivia prize. After a while, we're going to open the phone lines, and you can call 1-800-451-7331 and talk to Conway and Loretta and Red. Anyway, we're going to have a, we have a trivia question. If you're the first to answer it, we're going to give you these, these beautiful... Oh, those are the prints of the prints. coal miner's daughter painting. Right One is called the coal miner's daughter, and Conway is holding another print of Loretta. And I believe these, these are rather... Uh, rare and numbered and uh loretta I, I bet we could probably get you to sign them too couldn't we anyway that's tonight's trivia prize what's the question red oh uh, that, all right the question is name the actor who played mooney in the coal miner's daughter movie okay and the answer is no 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 <laughs> can't do that I almost, there'd be no contest i almost gave it away i know you did it's right there Okay, I know it's right there. Leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, who, who, who played Mooney Lynn, or, or as uh, Loretta calls him, do? In... Right there, Ralph. What? There's the answer right there. I... Will you go, go back down there? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That comes out right away? Comes out right away. Okay. And then the album follows. Well, wait a minute. I think I've, I've oh, got a uh, yes, mock-up. Yes, we've got a mock-up of the album, haven't we? Yeah, that's your pretty picture there. That will be it. That's, that's pretty? We well, just took these the other day, and it will be called Who Was That Stranger? That's the title of the mm -hmm. album. That's the title well, of the album. I want to show you something else, just see if you're... These, these are out of my... Oh, no. <laughs> God. These are out of my personal collection. Oh, my. You remember this one? <laughs> you this remember the, this uh, one? Was this the first one? Oh, we, that's, uh, only, we make only make believe. That's right. That was this the first one. That that's the first one. That's the first album. That is. 1970. After the fire is gone is in this album. Yeah, that was the... We got a Grammy on that song. Uh, Pictures, how many... You, you, you won a lot of awards as CMA... Vocalist of the Year, Grammys. What, do, you, do you recall how many, Conway? No. No, uh -uh. but we want to win more. <laughs> we, don't never, we don't never win enough, do we? All right. Uh, I'll, I'll refresh your memory. I'll brag on you a little bit. Oh, no. You won Best Vocal Performance by Country Duo or Group in 1982. That was a Grammy. CMA Awards, Best Duo, 1972, 73, 74, 75. All right. Also, you also won four times at the Academy of Country Music in California for Best Duo of the Year. And, oh, I have more here, but they tell me I need to take a break. Some of these are pretty interesting. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, that's it. I like that one. Uh, this one. This one is a, a painting that somebody did. I notice up here it says Mooney's Beer. <laughs> yeah. On tap. Appearing tonight, Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. Little sign there in the window. This was the only one, I guess, that was a painting for the cover. That's the only one, right? That's right. Did it's called you like Honky that? Tonk Heroes. That's, that's my car. That, that, I know, but did you like the painting? Huh? Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Well, I didn't like our fatty putting. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I've drunk the beer. I look like I've drunk the beer, you know. Why did you decide to go to a painting this time? I don't know, just something different, I think. And with a with a, an album title like Honky Tonk Heroes, we thought we could we could probably get best tell what we were trying to say with a with an artist doing it rather than trying to shoot it somewhere. Every time I get up ahead of steam, I have to quit. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Nashville now has more from America's country home coming up live. You're watching the Nashville Network.
I love that song. You, you did what? I think I, I think I've done one of Conway's lines there. Conway didn't say anything, so he just kept going. He just, he just kept trucking, didn't he? You know, I need all the help I can get anyway, Loretta. <laughs> I met that little man one time, Jimmy Work, who wrote that song. Yeah. I met him in 1953 or four. He had it out first. He on, did? On Dot Records, and then Kitty Wells cut yeah. it. Yeah, I remember that. Kitty Wells? And then Red Foley and Kitty Wells, right? And then Anita Carter cut it, too. So, yeah. I remember that. Well, I have I have some folks here that we'd like to bring out, and uh, I'll tell you what is a little awkward, but if I could, if these will stand up, it might help us to tell the story. I don't I don't know whether they'll stand up by themselves. I don't think they will. Don't uh, think they will. Hand me uh, one of them. I'll hold come it. Come here. All right. Get get over here, Wayne. You're the one that started this stuff. Who who are these people, Laura? This is this is Wayne, uh, and uh, you you know Gene and Wayne. Gene Gardner. Yeah. And, Gene, and would you come son. out, please? Wayne, would you have a seat, now, please? We're going to tell you this the is, story. All right. He, he's, painting my, he's painting my life, he says. All right. But he's going to have, uh, have some painting to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were, he ain't even started. Let me, let me uh, give you a little background. <laughs> I understand that, that uh, the day after Loretta received the Music City News Living Legend Award, she was on this show, and Gene Gardner here, gave give her drink. the original portrait of the coal look. miner's daughter. Uh -huh. And that's the one that Conway's holding. That's called the coal miner's daughter. That's and me you, and Daddy. gentlemen, Mr. Wayne Hart. Yes, sir. He painted this. And uh, Wayne, I understand that, now that second one is called what? Beginning of a Legend. Be beginning of a Legend? Yes, sir. All right, now as I understand it, this goes on. There's, this, there's a plan here, a game plan. Yes, sir, there'll be uh, six total. Six original oils. And what we're going to do is depict uh, Loretta's life in oil paintings. Ain't that great? All right, what, what is your plan? Thank you. What are you going to do? Where are you going to display them? Uh, the originals belong to Loretta. Okay. And then uh, what we're doing is we're going to be selling the lithographs. Okay, to anyone that wants them. Right. To anybody that wants me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anybody that wants them. Well, what happened, Ralph, is these were given on your show. And after the show, so many people saw it mm -hmm. and wanted the originals like Loretta. Mm -hmm. And Wayne said he couldn't do that many originals. So with Loretta and Wayne and myself, we decided that find a number limited edition lithograph prints would be great. So what is a limited edition in this case? That means there's only 5,000 worldwide. Of, of, e of each one. Of each one and of these. And each are numbered. Yes, sir. Each one are numbered. All right. What is your plan for picture number three? Do you have all this in your mind yet? Uh, well, we've got plan number three in mind anyway. It'll be... Uh, we can't tell this, though, because we might be missing. <laughs> well, we're going to have uh, Mooney. Well, I told you not, oh, to, tell not to tell it. I can't tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Mooney. Sorry. Well, we can't teach you nothing. All right. How do... How do uh, are, are these for sale now? Yes, sir. These two are for sale. I just bought these two. Huh? I, just, I just bought these How two. do people buy them? Well, they can write to Loretta Lynn, Nashville, Tennessee. And then what you have to do, and then we'll send them an order form. Because everyone is signed and numbered, limited edition. The plates have already been destroyed, and there's no way that there can be any more than 5,000, and we have to keep track of them. And then closely. I just send the order on to them. Okay, it says Loretta, I'm looking, I have a little monitor here. It says Loretta Lynn Enterprises. P.O. Box 120369, Nashville, Tennessee, 37212. And they can write there for information, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Wayne, you do beautiful work. Thank you very much. I congratulate you. What a nice tribute to Loretta. And, Gene, thank you for yeah, bringing the Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Ralph. Nice to have all of you on the show. We'll take a little break. We'll be back in a moment. Do, if you're watching, Loretta and I are sitting here talking about you. Funny story. We'll bring it up after a while. Screaming, they like that song. You heard the girls? No, I never. Always You've always heard the girls. The girls. Ah! See, like where you at? The girls like it when you lower your voice and growl a little. Yeah. <laughs> do, do your Conway Twitty. You know, really, all you have to... Uh, 
there is a doll called the Conway Twitty doll. Really? And y'all just have to wind it up. And it goes, stands up and goes, uh. <laughs> I do it on every one of my shows. Hey, Red. Red, let's do, let's do the uh, phone segment. Time to talk to the world, Ralph. Yes, it is. And tonight, what's our trivia question? We're go. Oh, we're There's asking who, right who played the role of Mooney Lynn in the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. And that, we're going to give you those two beautiful prints you saw if you're the first person to answer. Now, tell me your name and where you're calling from. Hello there. Hello. Yes, who is this? Uh, my name is Mary Sessions. Mary Sessions? Would and you I'm... like to answer our trivia question? Yes, I would. All right. Who played the role of Mooney Lynn in Coal Miner's Daughter? Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is correct. <laughs> where do you live, Mary? Uh, Wandale, California. Did you say Palmdale, California? No, Longdale. Longdale. All right. Who would you like to talk to? I'd like to speak to Conway. All right. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mary, can you handle this? What's your question, darling? I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> I'd like to ask him about his baseball team, though. What was that? How about your baseball team? How about my baseball team? Yes. I'd like... Do you still have the baseball team? You mean the one here in Nashville, the Nashville Sounds? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I'd like to know what kind of team you have this year and also what the parent company is. Okay. We're a triple-A franchise for the Cincinnati Reds. And I understand we've got a really good team this year. We're, we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to a good season. Good. Thank you. All right, Mary, Mary, these, these prints that you have won are very valuable, and I think you're going to really enjoy them. And I, I thank you for calling. I think you've had about all you can handle. <laughs> thank you. I thank you for calling. Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. I thought we were going to... We've never lost one before, Conway. <laughs> but I thought we were going to lose one tonight. Hello there. Hey. Hello? Yes. Who is this? Randy Urbanak. Where are you, Randy? Pensacola, Florida. All right, what's your pleasure? Got a question for Loretta. All right. What are the, how are the twins and what are they doing now? How are the twins and what are they doing now? Well, my twins are doing great and uh, they're singing. Uh, one of them sang at my dude drinks last year, um, three shows a day. And the other one is uh, singing here and there, wherever she can get her, find her a job, just like the rest of us. And, <laughs> The bo they both sing great. Do they ever sing together? Uh, they fight. Oh. They've not gotten over that yet. And when they get over that, they'll sing together. But they do have a new deal going, Loretta. I know. One of your twins. Yeah, one of my twins. And one of my daughters, Kathy. Kathy. And Johnny and Peggy. Cash's daughter. Mm -hmm. And, and one of uh, Johnny Cat. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Georgette Cassie. Jones. And Georgette Jones. That's right. That's right. They've all yeah. got a deal going, and they're going to. Um, Putting them a show together. Putting them a right? show together and going out on the road and doing something on this, you know. My daughter came up with this little idea and said, Mama, what do you think about it? I said, give it all you got. All right. When you going to do another gospel album feature Ernest Ray Whitney? I'm sorry? I'm really having a hard time hearing this gentleman. What did you say, sir? I'm asking Loretta when she's going to do another gospel album and feature Ernest Ray with her again. Oh, we may do that. Ernest Ray isn't here tonight. I don't think he knew I was doing the show because I just got in from California. So we, so we don't know the answer to that. No, but uh, we sing all... We, when we're on the road, uh, Ernest Ray and I sing together all the time. We do me and Conway songs, and I tell Ernest one day, I said, Ernest, we're going to have to... He loves Conway Twitty. Um, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, I'll not go into all of it because it didn't burn. <laughs> I was going to say, you go, are you going to tell us? I ain't telling a thing. Uh, he, he, I fart him on account of a few things because he embarrassed me. So, when, but he come back, you know, after a little, when he got hungry. But anyway, he, um, <laughs> uh, he just loves him, and he sings with me, and, and we were singing feeling, feelings every night. I said, Ernest, we're going to have to find something a little bit better for you and I because that's not a good song for a mommy and a son to sing. And he sat there and looked around for a few minutes, and he says, we were sitting on my desk and he says, Well, Mama, what about that song you and Conway Twitty sang? You're the reason our kids are ugly little darling. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, I've got to go. Oh. Thank you for calling. We'll be back in a moment. 
I like I like the jacket. Why don't you come over here and sit down next to Loretta? We want to do something here before we go to this break. Uh, what we're going to do, I don't think I've explained this to you, but we're going to go out into the audience and the killer is up one aisle, Gary's up the other, and some of these people are going to ask you some questions, okay? So, uh, Gary, if you're ready, we'll start with you and the young lady standing next to you. And tell, also, tell me your name and, and where you're from, please. Hi, my name's Cindy Kennard, and I'm from Apple Grove, West Virginia. And who would you like to ask, ask a question of? Actually, it concerns both of them. All right. Okay. Since you have a son, Mike, and you have a daughter, Patsy, who both sing, have they ever considered doing possibly a duet together and maybe starting a second generation of the Diamond Duet? That I would kinda, be kind of interesting. I kind of believe they've talked about singing. I think they have sang some together, haven't they? Uh, the two girls are getting together and, now. But and, and, yeah, the two girls now, but I think Mike, your oldest son. That's a good idea. I don't know And uh, Peggy have talked about it. <laughs> Interest, yeah. Interesting <laughs> idea. Maggie looks just like me, I think, and Mike looks just like Conway, so it'd be chip off the old block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. Let's go over here to the other aisle, please. What is your name, sir? My name is Richard Banville. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay. This is for Conway Twitty. Um, how many number one, number one hits do you have, and uh, do you have more than Elvis Presley? Uh, Richard, let's see, I think the, the last, the, I think it's 54, number one record. And uh, thank you. And yeah, that's more than Elvis and the Beatles put together, I think. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Back to this aisle. Hi, Nina Krauss from Manchester, Iowa. And I'd like to ask Loretta, have you thought about doing a sequel to your first book? Are you going to write another one? Yes. Uh, I've got enough notes uh, down that, that I could write three more books. Great. But the first one was only 200 pages. And, you know, the movie was just the one or, or two our movies. How can you get your life in that? Right. You know, so I have, um, yeah, we got. Be looking things forward to it. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Well, sure I will. All right. <laughs> this time I might play mommy. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, the lady over here in Lavender. I'm Nell Harrell, and I'm from Hendersonville, Tennessee. And my question is for Conway. Uh, do you and Loretta, uh, are you ever going to make a movie together? <laughs> Make a movie together, did uh -huh. you say? Yes. Mm, I, I don't, I, I, <laughs> I'd have to say probably not. Well, Loretta think, might make one. Well, I think you'd do good, too. Well, I appreciate are you, it. Maybe, are you thinking a bit about a video or a movie? Movie or video. Do you we, have a video? No, we don't have a video, but I well, think that's a good idea. You need a video. We need well, a video. You. I think so, too. Thank you. All right. Thank you. This gentleman right here. Right. I'm Billy Mounts from Pikeville, Kentucky. And I'd like to know if uh, Loretta is going to write a song about Pikeville, Kentucky. About Pikeville, Kentucky? Well, I wrote quite a few songs, you know, about Kentucky. And right. I just, in this album, new album that's coming out, is uh, there's a song in there about the preacher that preached in the little one-room schoolhouse. And he was my daddy's, back, well, my, grandma, my grandmother's sister's son. And um, he preached in the little one-room schoolhouse that my great-grandfather built. And his name's Elsie Banks, and that's about as close to Pikeville, Kentucky, as you're going to get. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Thank you. It's Thank called you. Preacher I, Elsie Banks. I believe that's all the time we have for this segment. We'll take a break. Be back in a moment. Okay. okay. Well, now, I've got about three minutes here, and we've got a lot of stuff to, to announce. <coughs> First of all, Conway, let's talk about the upcoming cruise. Oh, yeah. You have a cruise, I believe, set with, with Loretta. Loretta and I are going to the Caribbean, what oh. is it, December the 3rd? Through the 10th. Through December the 10th, that's right, seven days. And oh. last year we did it for three days, and, and the only complaint we had was that, uh, the, that the trip wasn't, wasn't long enough. Why's that? That I wasn't there. Was wasn't the long complaint. enough and Loretta wasn't there, yeah. that's right. <laughs> so this year, we asked everybody last year who they would like to have with us this year, and they said Loretta. So she, she said, I want to go, and so we're going to go. Oh, December gonna, the 3rd to the 7th. You're going to take a lot of people with you. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Well, I think the ship holds a, a thousand. So and we hope to take at least a thousand This with is us. the MS Carib, right? Yeah, and it's going to what? St. Thomas and St. John 
And then two more islands down there that I can't think of the name of right now, unless you've got them written down right there, Ralph. And, uh, no, I don't. Uh -oh. It just says Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Caribbean or Caribbean and back to Miami. Right, and I've been there, and, and the shopping be, down there is great. There'll be some autograph parties, too. There'll be some autograph parties on the boat, yeah. And if you would like more information, you can call the number you see on your screen, 1-800-251-2141. If you'd like to go on a cruise, December 3rd through the 10th. Now... Right, I was telling you, Ralph, last year... When we did your show here, uh, from the, from that one mention that we did on this show, and, and we were talking a while ago, there are 40 million people out there who watch Nashville now. 40 million. That makes it the third largest largest. Well, uh, 40 million are capable of watching. They are capable of watching. Yeah. 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 By the way, Conway, while uh, we're we're plugging things, this is from Ralph's Record Shop right here. Yes. This is the newest Conway Twitty album on MCA, and it features uh, your new record, right? The, the new single good, I did good, on the show here tonight. Well, time. First time it's ever been done anywhere. Now, more news. Loretta, are you, I understand later on this year you are doing at Lake Tahoe a show with Crystal Gale. Yeah, I mean, Crystal's are going to Lake Tahoe, and of course, Peggy sings harmony with Crystal, so that'll be three of us sisters up there. And maybe the other one will go babysit. So that'll be the four sisters. We're gonna tear up Lake Tahoe. The heck with her. All right, Bob. Crystal was on here last night, I heard. Crystal well, was see, here. I wasn't here. We just got in from the uh, West Coast Coast. We want to do it together. We want to do it together someday, all of us. Why don't you come and do kids. this show together some night? Yeah, we want to. And we talked about that. And um, But if I'd been here, I'd like to watch it, but it wasn't. Well, I'm sorry. I, I believe you're going to sing a song right after we take a break. Oh, I'll try. Okay. I hope I do better than I did last time. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. What? Look out. What? What? You better duck, Ralph. You better duck because it says on the card here's the ready to close the show with Fifth City. Duck, Ralph, duck. Oh. <laughs> Take a bow. That's beautiful. I love it. Tomorrow night, Johnny Tillots and Tom Grant with Trinity Lane. That's a new group Tom's with. Darlene Austin, the group Achafalaya, and Shotgun Red will be our show. And tonight, I assume this tour we announced is is the beginning of a lot of things you're going to do together. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of shows together this year, Ralph, and we're looking forward to every one of them. Oh, and we're going to do a new album, too. A for, new album For radio. Uh -huh. Yeah, a, a, an MCA album. In the, what, in the fall? We're going to start on it soon. Okay. Yeah. Would you please applaud the Diamond Duet, Miss Conway... <laughs> Miss Loretta Lynn and Mr. Conway Twitty. <laughs> Say hi to my mama. She said way back. Hi, Mama. What's your name? Velma Jenkins. <laughs> Velma, let's hear it for Shotgun Red right over here. <laughs> Mr. Whitehurst, let's go home. We're out of time, my friends. Good night, everybody. Make your vote count. This week, viewers' choice votes are being cast for favorite song. Help.